Okay, Google. Define upgrade. Upgrade. Raise something to a higher standard, in particular improve equipment or machinery by adding or replacing components. All right. That's what I was looking for. And uh, let's see what I got. Hey guys, Gameshan here. So, as you may know, the official back to school season started. Uh, well, for me anyway. And so I thought it would be the perfect time to get back into the laptop game myself and get myself a laptop that's sleek and serves me for the rest of the couple of years of school. So, meet the HP EliteBook 8460P. This has been my go to laptop for school, editing, and everything for the last couple of years. But, as you may know, it's a bit dated right now and it's not that powerful anymore. So, I needed to get something that was as sexy, as slick, and had just as nice touchpad or even better. So, meet the Dell XPS 9550. So I went for the 1080p Full HD version of the Dell XPS 15. So I chose this laptop of its carbon fiber, hand rests, the glass touchpad, the nice keyboard and that stunning 1080p bezel, almost bezel-less display. Yeah, they call it bezel-less from Dell, but it's not really bezel-less, it's just really thin. So it almost makes you feel like there's no bezel at all. Which makes this even, uh, so far, the one of the best and better displays that I have seen in a laptop. One of the biggest complaints that I had at this laptop, and other people as well, was the weird position of the webcam. For me, as a non-skyper, it's not that big of a deal. But for some people, especially when you're in business conferences and everything, this might be a deal breaker for you. I spent a couple of days with it, and of course this wouldn't be my laptop if it didn't run Mac OS and Windows at the same time. As soon as I got it, I jumped over to the Tony Mac x86 forums and searched for the latest compatible guide that could help me put Mac OS on this thing. I'll post the link of the guide that I used down in the description on that like button. Running Al Capitan on this machine is a breeze. It feels like the next MacBook, but with the amazing bezel-less display, of course. So for example, the whole video that you're seeing right now has been edited and scripted on this machine here. It was such a breeze to use, and of course, with Final Cut, you can go everywhere. That said, features like, of course, the battery indicator on the right side and the Thunderbolt 3 port on the left side give me the ultimate options for video editing because I get the fastest transfer speed with the new Thunderbolt 3 port and of course the battery indicator is also helpful whenever I'm running low on my juice and I need to know how much I have. The combination of these features on this laptop compared with the new specs of the, the Skylake i7 6700HQ make this the ultimate video editing laptop on the go, in my opinion at least. Top that with a GTX 960M in the machine and you get an amazing package. Not only is it light enough for you to carry around, but you also can put up some solid games there, as long as you don't push it too hard. Everything from opening the box and experiencing the device in its first few days is an amazing thing on its own. From the feel to the keyboard, to the amazing display, to the awesome, awesome glass touchpad, everything is great and the first impressions that you get are astounding. And that's not something I can say about every laptop in this price range. Looking at you, GS70. So, after taking a break from the Dell camp and going to HP for several years, I'm happy to return home again. Of course, these are just the first impressions, so I have to test the device a lot more to see if it's capable of being my primary laptop for school and for editing. So, expect a full review in the near future. Until then, if you like what you saw, Please make sure to give the video a like and also subscribe down below to stay up with more content like this. Thanks for watching, this is Gameshine and I'll catch you guys in the next one.